Today we're going to look at making a pair of, uh, make patterns for stiffeners. Not the actual stiffener, but actually make the pattern for a stiffener. So here we have a last, the insoles on, and here's the upper ready made. And I've got the upper drawn onto the uh, last, uh, basically because that's how I made the very, very complex pattern. But also it's going to help us find out where uh, to make the stiffener. Um, I designed stiffeners on the last rather than on the pattern or from the pattern of the the shoe uh, because I with the last you, I want to see how the the uh, stiffener is going to distort as it goes on to the last. Now rather than work it out from first principles, uh, most uh, stiffeners look very much the same. They're just different proportions, and here we have uh, patterns that have been around some 10, 20 years that are just made out of paper that we just keep copying. And so if you take the biggest one, which is 380 long, and compare it with the shortest one, which is only 320, you can see that they're basically the same shape, but they just get longer. And that saves a lot of time. So by measuring from just behind the joint to the uh, behind the joint there, that comes out at uh, about 300. So the nearest one I have is a 320. So I put it on and look, there it is. Because it's not fitting, but you can see what it's giving me is uh, enough paper. So I'm, because uh, particularly with paper, if you've got too much paper, it's just very, very awkward. So by having all of these, uh, it just saves a lot of time. And to save uh, time in the filming, I've actually pre-cut it. And uh, I've worked with the knife and cut it out. By the way, uh, practice, particularly if you're a young student, practice cutting paper, not with scissors, but with a knife. And imagine, here's a clicking knife, so paper is straight and a clicking knife, of course, is curved. But the correct way to hold a clicking knife is to have your finger out, so it's under there, so that it gives you much more control. So if you're doing a really, see that little sharp turn there? If your clicking knife isn't vertical, it'll just look awful. But by having your finger out, you can see how you can do a sharp curve like that and see how the knife is vertical. So practice with a paper knife, which is the same as a skiving knife, practice that same hold so that you you're learning. It means stretching some tendons and learning to do different muscles. Feels awkward at first, but it's a really useful skill to have. So I've cut this out, and uh, basically now I'm going to trim it to fit this last. So there's three, in our workshop, there's three lengths of stiffeners. There's the long stiffener, which comes all the way and to just behind the joint. There's the mid-waist stiffener, which comes there halfway up the waist, and then there's the short stiffener, which sits in there. Mini shoes just have short stiffeners because it's very cheap, very simple to put in. You're losing very little material. Long stiffeners, of course, give you a lot more support and they take a lot more time to put in. But of course, they're also heavy. Um, so if you can do a pattern for a long stiffener, it's easy then to just convert it to mid-waist or short. Another variation is a short outside and long stiffener on the medial side inside to hold up a, a fallen arch. So, let's have a look. Uh, on the outside, that's here, uh, I don't want the stiffener to go uh, be onto that joint. I want it to be just behind the joint. So there it is there, just behind the joint. So I don't want the stiffener to go further forward than that. On the medial side, the inside, I want to see how there's a kind of a bulb shape around the uh, uh, hallux joint, the 1MPJ. Sit just behind that. You can see the same on the last. So that's going to be our forward uh, line for the medial side. And you see how the uh, medial side is longer than the lateral side. And you'll see that on the last. You don't really need to work it out because it was done by the last maker. So you see how your stiffener is going to be longer there than there. Okay. So the next parameter is um, the back height. Now, the back height is, is a really important. 
too low on the stiffener and you feel like you're going to lose the shoe. Too high and when the foot bends, as the, as the person takes a step, you see how the Achilles tendon comes out. So up to about here, the foot, no matter what the foot does, the heel remains the same. Above a certain point, the, uh, as you take a step, the, uh, the, you can see the tendon comes out. And uh, so too high, uh, it's going to hurt your foot uh, up here. It's going to hurt that part of your foot. And too low, it's going to feel like you're losing the shoe. And that, port, that point, we call it the C point, you know, one of the A, B, C, or C for clip, uh, C for counter height, all these different words. So that's the back height, or C, is one-fifth of the standard last length. So basically, if you've got a very pointed toe, it's going to be, give you misinformation. But this is a, a three and a half or a 36, and it's got the classic almond toe. So the length of this last will be really the same as its standard last length, which is 240 millimeters. Can you see that? Um, which is three and a half uh, English sizes, the UK sizes, or 36 uh, continental sizes. So, one fifth, the standard last length, is five into 240. Yeah, is going to give you 48 millimeters. Four, eight. Okay, can you see how that works? So, the back height. Now, uh, is 48 mil, so that's above, above the, uh, the, the um, insole. So there's 48 mil, and I also add 3 millimeters, uh, and the reason I add 3 millimeters, that's one eighth of an inch, is because, oops, <laughs> is because uh, the, um, everything shrinks. When you pull the last out and you start to wear the shoe, it shrinks down. So you want it to end up at 48 millimeters. So I've made it 51. You can see 51 there. Okay, I'll just repair my bit of blackboard. And, yeah, there we are. That's the right way up now. Okay, so that's the back height. Is at 51? Now, really, really important. You can have a shoe or a boot that goes up above. Here's the malleoli, the ankle bones very sensitive. The shoe can go a bit higher or the boot can go a bit higher, but the stiffener must not cut in there. You see how that hurts? I've done classes with 20 or 30 students in university and I said, hands up everybody that's had to throw a shoe out because it cut under the ankle bone. And they're only 20 years old and half of them will put their hands up and say, I've done that. And the reason is because they haven't been to my class and learned that, you know, there is a maximum height that you can put that, and if it's too high, it'll hurt, and it'll really hurt. You'll have to throw the shoe away. So, what is that height? Uh, here's the, uh, notice another thing, that the medial malleolus, the, me the inside ankle bone, is further forward. You see that's further forward, and the, uh, see that, it's here, and the lateral one is back here. See that, how uh, this is forward, and this one's back, and also the height of the lateral ankle bone, the outside ankle bone, is lower than the, than the medial, the inside ankle bone. Yeah, the medial malleolus, see that? So you've got this differentiation further back on the outside, further forward on the inside, lower on the outside, higher on the inside. Okay, so your parameters are on a small last like this, size three and a half, don't go above 40 mil. Okay, so here we are, that line, 40 mil. Okay, if you had a great big last, say a size uh, 45, 48, 50, don't go above 45. Okay, so if that was a huge last, you know, like a size uh, 50, don't go above 45. On a little last like this, don't go above 40. So here is your outside quarters. 40 mil for a small and 45 max for a very large, okay? Inside quarters, so notice how far back that, that line is. Inside quarters is higher and further forward, see that? The line dips here 
And for an inside quarter uh, on a small shoe like this, about 46, 47, okay? And for a big foot, don't go above 50 for a size 50. So here we are, size 36. I've actually drawn it at 45 mil. Okay, so that's to be really safe. So now we've got the ends. We've got the uh, C point, the back height. We've got the uh, lateral outside ankle bone and the medial inside ankle bone. The other thing is, de depends on the style. On this, you can see that when I, when I made it, I, I stitched the lining and the upper separate until I came to here and then I stitched the whole lot together. See, it's caught in the tongue and everything like that. So here, and, that, and you have to do this deliberately when you close it, you have to open it up, stitch the lining on separately and then fold it back and stitch that. And that will enable you to get the stiffener on. So I can get the stiffener up to here, but I can't get it past there. I can get the stiffener up to there, but I can't get it past there. So I'm just going to sketch the line. See, I can't go past there, okay? and I can't go past there. So I can come up like that, and then I'm going to come up, capture that, come just under there and around, and then here I'm going to come up, down like that, and then up, and then capture here. 